This is a WISN 12 editorial with President and General Manager Jan Wade. As back to school plans roll out, it's become clear there's not a one size fits all solution. The overall goal is in classroom instruction, but depending on your district and the number of COVID cases in your area, that may not be possible in the beginning. The Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction says that a number of districts will offer a phased in restart in the fall, focused on younger students getting back in the classroom first. Older students seem to do better in the virtual environment, while younger students need in-person instruction. Many suburban school districts, colleges and private schools, though, will return to the classroom this fall. But with COVID cases spiking in Wisconsin, how will students and teachers stay safe? Health officials are concerned that as students return, cases will climb. While classrooms will look different, it's unrealistic to expect that social distancing and masks alone will totally stop the spread. And right now, unfortunately, there isn't a coordinated plan to add any type of testing, nor a tipping point for what will suspend in classroom instruction. Health officials say they'll handle that for now, case by case. Look, we all want students back in school. There's no debate there. But we must do it safely using every precaution. And that has to include health screenings and testing. If not, we'll lose the battle for in-classroom instruction and students will once again be learning from home. I'm Jan Wade.